Hi, I'm Emu Chicken, and I wanna be a pirate. Yar. Let's get scum VM on these emuelic Android boxes. We need to first transfer the game files over so that scum VM can use them. Any files that are already prepared for scum VM will work. This includes PC and RetroPie. Three ways we can get the files over. The first being Explorer, hit double backslash emuelic, ROMs, scumvm, and then copying over all of the data folders. Second method would be to use FTP. Get the IP address, log in as user root and password emuelic, go into ROMs, scumvm, and then copy over the files like we did before. This is much more reliable than earlier. The third method would be the fastest and the most reliable. It's by using the micro SD card and then putting it into your PC. On a Super Console X, you should have a partition where you can alter the games. But if you cannot find anything, use FTP instead. Copy over the scumvm data folders to ROMs scumvm. Either method may take a while. So go get a banana. Once the files are copied across, eject safely and then pop it into your Android box. So, what if you don't actually have any ROMs? Well, if you go to the Scum VM website, you can actually download some free games. These are actually full commercial titles, but the developers were nice enough to release it on here for free. Obviously, these all work on Scum VM, so have a quick browse and download the titles you like. So here's Lore of the Temptress. I freshly downloaded it, opened in WinRAR, and all I need to do is move this folder across to the scumvm folder. Can do it with Flight of the Amazon Queen. And here's Beneath a Steel Sky. Dreamweb is a little different. It doesn't actually have a folder inside it, so we need to create one for it. If we check out the ScumVM website and go to Compatibility, we're going to find the game in this long list, and we're going to look for the game short name, DreamWeb. So I'll create a new folder, I'm going to type that in. Now in our raw file, let's click one. Press Ctrl and A to select them all, and drag and release over to the DreamWeb folder. And that's pretty much it. We just eject, and you got some free games. Let's go to Emuelec. Now in the scripts setup, we'll go down to Scan ScumVM Games. This will scan our ScumVM files, but once it's complete, we'll notice that ScumVM is still not here. So let's restart Emulation Station. Now we got it. You'll notice it does not look very pretty at all. So we need to scrape these file names. Scraping basically means getting information of each game. So we'll go to the menu, Scrape, and Scrape Now. If you have any issues with this, you may need to go to the website, ScreenScraper.fr create a free account and then type in the username and password here. Now it's finished scraping, we need to go to Game Settings, Update Game Lists. Huh, almost there. Now we've got Monkey still to go. So let's go to the Game Options and Scrape, only the Monkey file. The game should be in this list, if it's not you need to press on Input and then type in the game manually. Just going to select this. Okay. Now this Queen RU is the Russian version of uh, Flight of the Amazon Queen. So we're going to hide it. Go to edit this game's metadata. Press up a few times and press on hidden. I'll scrape it anyway. All right, I just set hidden to true, but it's not hiding it. So I'm gonna to go to view options, view customization. 
scroll down to show hidden files and set that to no. All right, wait a minute. One game is missing. Can you guess what it is yet? Let's have a look. Ha! It hid monkey. All right, let's just check out the metadata for this game. For some weird reason, it's set to hidden. Let's unhide it, press save. And now, with the filter on, should hide only... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to go to MULX settings and set the audio device zero. Zero. Now we should be able to hear audio in our Scum VM games. Now I'll just restart the system. Let's try out some games. The left analog stick will move the mouse cursor. L will slow the mouse cursor down a little bit. X and square will be left mouse button and right mouse button. I believe R2 will pull up the Scum VM menu. And then using the hotkey and start, you can exit Scum VM. There seems to be very little slowdown with games such as Curse of Monkey Island. So an emulic box in the living room with a games controller would be just great, especially for little kids when they're growing up. You can assist them with learning the English language, or even something about gaming history in general. Options screen, we can actually save the game here. Or we can also go to the launcher and check the options. If you wish, you can change graphics mode, tap filters and things like that, or you can even adjust audio settings. Anyway, I've been Emu Chicken, and I hope you have a nice time with ScumVM. Catch you around.